Hi everyone, Mike Smith here. Have you ever found yourself in this situation, like this poor bloke here, panicking because his website is down? Now this could happen for a number of reasons. Perhaps you forgot to pay your domain name registration. Perhaps you forgot to pay your hosting. But you have taken backups, haven't you? Sure. Well, if you've forgotten to pay your website hosting, where are those backups? On your website hosting. Hmm. Look, there's lots of reasons why backups may fail. Perhaps you didn't um, test the restore process. Uh, perhaps the backups just simply weren't working, but you thought they were. Um, in any case, what do you do in that situation? Well, before you tear your hair out, let me show you a possible solution that may save your bacon. Okay, so this is called the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. A fantastic idea that archives websites going back a couple of decades. So you might be able to find an old copy of your website using the Wayback Machine. Let me show you how it works. Okay, now in my case, um, all that happened was that uh, I folded a business and um, didn't think that I'd need that domain anymore, so I let that domain lapse. Now I've decided I actually do want to start that business again. That's how I'm in this situation. Okay, so I'm just in the process of setting up a new website for this business, and it would just be useful if I could remember what that old website looked like. And I might even be able to copy some of the graphics and some of the text and update that. Okay, so what we want to do is um, use the Wayback Machine to do that. Now, easy to find. You just type in Wayback Machine into Google, or you can type web.archive.org forward slash web and you end up on this page here and what you do is you pop your um, your old domain name that no longer exists or uh, for a website that doesn't exist anymore um, and you browse the history here and as you can see you end up with this timeline of various archives and I'm just going to go um, I'm just from memory I think um, one of the one of the better versions of this website was in around about 2007. That was the end of a development phase for me. And I'm just going to try here October 6, 2007, see what it looked like. And there's my website. Kind of strange to see it. Um, and um, it, was, uh, it was created in a software package called Dreamweaver, if you remember that. Totally in HTML. Not a content management system at all. There's nowhere to log in. Um, I created it in HTML using this software package and then uploaded it to the host. So there's my website. And as you can see, I can browse around this website within the archive. That works really well. Um, also, I've got access to my old logo, which I'm going to reuse. Fortunately, it didn't have the domain name burned into it. Um, because my domain name is changing. It's just changed a little bit here from a .com.au to a .com. Okay, so there it is. Um, now, I can I can copy and paste text and images and rebuild my website like uh, like that. That's, that's fine for a website that doesn't have too many pages. Um, this website did have a few pages, and I maybe don't want to transfer all of them. However, what would uh, be really cool is if I could download a copy of this old website. Well, the answer is yes, you can. And next, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now to avoid the frustration and to download a website, um, whether it exists now or whether it's in an archive here, as, as this one is, um, you need a piece of software called a website copier or website downloader. Um, and uh, now I run a Mac here. I also run Windows machines. So I'm going to just uh, let you in on the two pieces of software. One for a Mac called SiteSucker. Great name. And for Windows, you'd be looking at something called HTTrack. So just search on those. HTTrack's website is here. Um, and, and SiteSucker here. Good on you, Rick. Yep. Um, so, so obviously I'm on a Mac here, so I'm going to use SiteSucker. And um, the interface for SiteSucker is pretty straightforward. We've got it up here. Okay, so that's it. That's it there. Yep. Okay, so all you do is you pop the URL of the website that you want to copy into here. You might have to fiddle with some settings here. And it'll just download um, the website if it can. 
um, to a local file folder on your machine. So let me show you next how to do that. Okay, so side sucker, let, let me just um, have a look at the settings here. I just want to make sure that I can set the destination folder somewhere where I can find the um, the website later. So I'm working on this website here. Yep, and I've just prepared a folder here. That's where I want to save it, so I can find it. Okay, what other settings might we need? General. Okay, limits. We might want to, well, maximum number of levels. I remember my website only had about two levels, but let's just give it four. Maximum number of files, 100 files. The idea here is that you don't want to overload whatever server that you're, um, you know, that you're accessing. So, so, um, and also you've got to be careful because sometimes websites have links to um, uh, files that aren't actually pages. They might be documents and you might not want all of those. So without having a look through manually all of the links on your website, for example, I've got some external links here, maybe you don't want all that stuff. So let's, I know I've got about 30 pages here, so let's, let's put, if that, say 20 pages be safe 30 pages just to set some limits and you can also set some other limits here okay so okay now I'm just going to now I'll, I want to put the URL here now in this particular case I'm going to copy the archive URL of the uh, of the front page see that index.html that's the front page of that archived website and from that front page you've got links to all of the other pages so that should allow the website copier to follow um, the structure of the website okay um, and the next thing is just to press download so we'll do that next now just before we do download I want to point out one more thing in the settings area under general I've checked this box, ignore robot exclusions. Use this with care. You're not really, uh, you're kind of uh, bypassing protections of the, um, the, web, the web server here. Um, generally, robot uh, exclusions are intended to stop um, web trawlers from um, uh, overloading servers and downloading files and that sort of thing and and in effect the these site download programs are doing the same thing so what when I was testing this before I w uh, put together this demo um, I, I discovered that I I couldn't download if I if I didn't have this checked so what that means is that this this web archive is trying to prevent people from downloading archive versions of websites and there might be a number of valid reasons for them to do that. So anyway, I do want to download this. Um, I have set some limits. I'm trying to be responsible, but I have checked this. Ignore robot exclusions. Okay, so I just, just wanted to explain that. So now press OK. Now we're ready to download. So this is the download button here. Press that and off it goes. And it'll, it'll go through pretty quickly. Files downloaded here. Well, I was guessing it was going to be around about 30 pages. Well, there you go, 31 pages. Um, and now I can press that button. That's going to take me to the download folder, hopefully the destination folder over here. Okay, and where's that opening over here now? Okay. Um, web. You might have to dig around a little bit here. Um, hmm, okay, let's go back to the program. Uh, instead of the folder, let's go for the file. Uh, here we go. Okay, so this is this is my home page on my local drive, and I should be able to just have a look at the um, bottom of the screen here, the status bar. As I hover over these links, some of them will go out to the web, some of them will be here. So um, let's just try that one. That'll take me to that page. Great. Ah, that's the text I was looking for. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so now I've got a, a, um, a local copy of my website and I can use that to populate the new website that I'm building over here. Right. Just copy and paste. Okay, so that hopefully will solve any problems that you might have um, with websites that have been lost. Good luck.
and thanks for listening.